Welcome to the 33rd Keyboard Fest presented by the Mid-Michigan Music Teachers Association. I'm Peter Brooks. I'll be your master of ceremonies this evening. Now, before we get started, I want to direct your attention to the stage and these beautiful pianos that you see, which have been so graciously provided by Steinway Piano Gallery of Detroit, which is the Midwest's largest selection of Steinway and Steinway Design Boston and Essex pianos. And we hope you'll take some time either tonight, after the program, or tomorrow to come up and look at these beautiful instruments that have been brought here by Steinway Piano Gallery of Detroit. And I gotta tell you, we could not present this evening, this keyboard fest, without their generous support. So maybe you'll find the perfect instrument for you and your family tonight. Well, let's get the evening started now by welcoming to the stage the Mid-Michigan Music Teachers. as our conductor this evening. Mr. Holmeyer is the director of the music at Midlands United Church of Christ and retired from the Midlands Center for the Arts in 2017. Jim has won awards at the National Adult Conducting Competition in Wisconsin and the American Conductors Competition in California. He is also director emeritus of the Rochester Symphony. Jim's been an adjunct for the Michigan School Vocal Association, Music Association for 50 years and enjoys working with school choirs and bands and orchestras at festivals. Jim and his partner, Susan Mercy, co-chair the student achievement testing for the Mid-Michigan Music Teachers Association. And Jim chairs the semifinals for the Central Division of the State of Michigan. And both Susan and Jim administer statewide oral awareness tests in February. Busy, busy people. Uh, they also enjoy, when they've got a little spare time, they enjoy uh, being featured performers at special events in the Great Lakes Bay region. They recently performed the music for the show White Christmas here at the Center for the Arts, and they will be performing the music for the shows Into the Woods, Next to Normal, and Sweeney Todd later this season. Occasionally, Jim can be found flying his Piper Archer or Cessna Skyhawk airplanes around Michigan. He is uh, the president of the Fly More Flying Club. And the Holmeyer Mercy Music Studio has students ranging in age from six to 65 studying piano, organ, violin, viola, and cello. So would you please welcome to the podium our conductor, Mr. Jim Holmeyer. Well, as is our tradition, the music teachers begin our program. And tonight, it's with Espana Cañé, a pasoda. Uh, OK, I'll get this one. I had it in rehearsal. Uh, Paso Doble, or Double Step, which was written around 1923. Its main refrain is arguably the best known piece of Spanish music, popular all over the world. You'll probably recognize it. It has connections to bullfighting, military marches, and ballroom dancing.
Waltz for Sarah by Ann, or Wynne Ann Rossi is a musical dance in 3-4 time that was written to honor the great American jazz singer Sarah Vaughan. Her impressively large vocal range spanned soprano to baritone. Amazing. The next selection is Strutting Down Frenchman Street, also written by Wynne Ann Rossi. Music comes alive every evening, you know, on Frenchman Street in the heart of the French Quarter in Nolens. From Dixieland classics to new and experimental tunes, jazz captures memory and imagination at every corner.
Well, the lyrics of the English folk song, Early One Morning, have been found in publications as far back as 1787, one of the best known and loved folk songs in Britain. It's been featured in many movies and TV shows, including Bewitched, Bonanza, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, and Disney's Pollyanna. And it's arranged here tonight by Midland piano teacher Heather DeGroote. The second piece in this set is an arrangement of an American folk song, Bluebird on My Shoulder. Now, bluebirds are considered symbols of happiness, and their song has been described as cheer, cheery up. And we believe Bluebird on My Shoulder should put a smile on your face tonight. Chrissy Ricker is the composer of the next two pieces you're going to hear. They're described as music inspired by video games. The first one is Lollipop Bop. This piece may remind you of maybe summer days, strolling down the sidewalk, enjoying your favorite sweet treat. Then Let's Quest is going to send you on an adventure using a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two rhythm commonly used in the music of Cuba and often played by the claves. So, let's go. Thank you. 
Well, chirping cheerfully is the tempo marking at the beginning of Kathleen Massoud's Chickadee Waltz. The waltz originated in what is now Germany and Austria. It's a dance with, in three with a, a gentle one, two, three, or um pa pa feel to it. And then Wendy Stevens' piece, The Night's Quest, tells a story with its tempo marking of triumphantly. Now, it starts out very quietly as the knights appear in the distance. And then they sing, marching on to the fight. This is our last battle. On we march, brave and strong. We will fight until dawn, marching on until dawn. This is our final conquest. stage tonight is our amazing one-man percussion section, my buddy Tom Ryden. Over the years, over the years, he has been a welcome fixture on that stage. He has been the percussionist for all 33 Keyboard Fest concerts. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Ryden is a Dow Chemical retiree, but thankfully he has not retired from his musical pursuits he loves so much. So yeah, let's give a big thank you, a warm thank you, our percussionist, Tom Ryden. <laughs> Chasson. I got that one right. Chasson is the French word for song. And this delicate piece by Robert Vandal is a minor key with some surprises here and there. And Vandal's village dance, however, is quite a contrast to that first piece. It's fast and energetic. You'll probably picture the villagers twirling and stomping.
Minnesota composer Melanie Bober has been writing and arranging music for more than 25 years. And in her piece, Hot Popcorn, the pianists are going to be playing short notes that jump around like, well, like popcorn and hot oil. And Bober's hometown celebration is a, a lively piece that may bring back some memories for you, perhaps of summer picnics or those Fourth of July gatherings in the park. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the president and CEO of Steinway Gallery of Detroit. Without his commitment to Keyboard Fest and its students, none of this that you're experiencing tonight would be possible. So will you please give a warm Midland welcome to Mr. Tom Hoy. Good evening, everybody. This is my, I think it's my 30th year of coming up here. Um, I started in the piano business a long, long time ago. And when I was 12 years old, I started playing music and it changed my life forever and ever. Uh, and I have to tell you something. If you think that this is normal, I do want you to understand, I don't think there's a piano concert in the United States that could even hold a candle to this. It is amazing. And that goes uh, to the dedication of all the Midland piano teachers. So let's give them a great big round of applause. The amount of energy it takes to put this together is amazing. And the next round of applause is for all the parents who have persevered and gotten these children into piano, which will change their life forever as well. So to you. And this is my favorite event that I do every single year. I love coming up here, I love watching you, but most importantly, to hear 25 kids or 24 kids all at one time is pretty amazing.
Thank you, Mr. Tim Hoy. And uh, after the program tonight, you are welcome to come up on stage and examine these beautiful pianos for yourself, and of course, take pictures and that sort of thing. Well, we have a guest conductor for our next set. Jim Renfer is the organist and music director at Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary Church in Midland. Jim graduated from the U of M with a degree in organ performance and has been the keyboardist in orchestras for shows at the Bay City Players and here at the Center for the Arts. So would you please welcome him to the stage right now. This uh, set starts with Smoke and Mirrors, which is another piece by Robert Vandal. The phrase Smoke and Mirrors, of course, refers to deception that's intended for you to believe something is true when it's really not, like what a magician does with his audience. And then Dennis Alexander's Bossa Brasilia is going to take us on a short trip to South America with lively rhythms that might make you want to get up and dance. a special treat. We are delighted to have another guest conductor this evening for this next set. 
Jude Renfer graduated from Oakland University with a degree in vocal performance and has a studio where she teaches voice and piano. Now, both Jim and Jude Renfer are new to the Midland area and are delighted to be conducting for Keyboard Fest tonight, and we are equally delighted to have them doing so. So will you please now welcome to the stage Jude Renfer. Thank you. Double Crossed by Chrissy Richter tells the pianists to play sneakily. It brings to mind spies sneaking around their secret mission activity. So watch out, somebody may be sneaking around following you. The second piece by Chrissy Richter will have you kicking back and relaxing as you float away on cloud nine. We certainly hope you're enjoying the evening so far, and we're going to continue the program in just a minute. But first, we'd like to say a big thank you, first of all, to our conductor, Jim Holmeyer, and our percussionist, Tom Ryden, then to Sue Lutel from Herter Music Center for supplying our music, to the Steinway Piano Gallery for providing these beautiful pianos, 
to the hardworking members of the Keyboard Fest Committee, chaired this year by Melanie Zimmer and Penny Vanderbush, to the Midland Center for the Arts for hosting us and their hardworking crew backstage, and of course to all the families who encourage and support these students in their piano studies. Would you please give these folks a round of applause? And now we're off to the races in Melody Bober's Race Car Boogie. This toe-tapping tune is a boogie-woogie, which is a percussive style of playing the piano or playing on the piano, the blues music. So get ready to start your engines in just a moment. Bober's second piece, A Mysterious Adventure, tells the pianist to play mysteriously. So be very quiet and careful as we set off on a mysterious adventure. Thank you. Midland piano teacher Heather de Groot wrote this next piece for this year's Keyboard Fest. She imagined an elephant and a mouse meeting and becoming great friends. The long, smooth, low notes, of course, are the elephant, while the fast, high, crisp notes will be the mouse. And then along the Blackfoot River by Mary Leaf is played with a powerful beat in a minor key that describes this fast, cold trout river in Montana that was made famous in the movie, A River Runs Through It.
next set is Cumbia in the Caribbean and Cambole, both composed by Wynn and Rossi. The Cumbia originated in Panama and along Colombia's Caribbean coast. It was a courtship ritual performed on drums and claves, but it transformed, morphed into a more popular music and dance genre. Cambole is a lively piece in 4-4 Calypso time. Cambole, by the way, refers to a, a festival in Trinidad. Michigan composer and University of Michigan alum, Catherine Rollins' Vase Sentimental Adieu is a graceful, romantic waltz with beautiful melodies that weave in and out of each part. You might picture a ballroom, a grand ballroom, full of couples dancing in their elegant attire. And Walnut River Rag by Melody Wober contains all the fun of ragtime 
times two. The syncopation and jump bass patterns are characteristic of ragtime music. This was the predominant style of music, of course, in America from the late 1890s until around 1917 or so. The most famous composer of ragtime, of course, was Scott Joplin. You probably have heard his music, the Maple Leaf Rag or The Entertainer. <laughs> Thank you. 
German classical composer Johann Anton Andre was born in 1775 and died in 1842. He ran his family's music publishing business, which became famous after he was given the rights to all of Mozart's works by Mozart's widow. He became known as the father of Mozart research, and his music is firmly established in the classical style. Now, sonatinas are short sonatas, usually having only two or three movements, lots of technical patterns like scales and arpeggios, and oftentimes are rather light in their character. Now, the first movement in this piece is set in a gentle, moving tempo that is labeled play with grace. If you watch the player's hands, you may notice they're very close together. The second movement is marked in Polish style because it is actually a Polish, stately Polish dance.
Well, these next two pieces were originally written to be sung. The composers, Jerome Kern and Irving Berlin, were two of the most famous and popular composers of American song in the early 20th century. The Way You Look Tonight is a song from the film Swing Time that was performed by Fred Astaire and composed by Jerome Kern with lyrics by Dorothy Fields. It won the Academy Award for Best Original Song back in 1936. Meanwhile, Blue Skies, written by Irving Berlin in 1926, is one of the many popular songs whose lyrics use a bluebird of happiness as a symbol of good cheer. But the sunny optimism of the lyrics are undercut by the minor key, kind of gives it an ironic feeling as you listen. The song was a last minute addition to the Rodgers and Hart musical Betsy, which you may have never heard of because it only ran for 39 performances. But the song was a huge hit with the opening night audience. In fact, they demanded 24 encores and it has remained popular to this day, being performed in both the movie and the musical, White Christmas.
at this time, we would like to honor our students who are seniors this year. As we all know, music enriches our lives, and it is a skill that lasts a lifetime. And we hope that all of you will continue to make music a part of your future. So I'm going to uh, call the names of the seniors and ask them to come down as I announce your name to the front of the stage and wait. And uh, we'll give you all a round of applause after all of the names have been announced. So we begin with Madeline Arthur, Caden Cummings, Kira DeGro, Shauna Dore, Caleb Ellis Hutchings. <laughs> the scenic route. <laughs> Emma Haynes. There we go. Thank you. Ashley Kelly. Blaze Mayer. And Gabriel Vanderpool. Have we got everyone? All right, congratulations, seniors. Freud, or Love's Joy, was written by one of the greatest violinists of the 20th century, Fritz Kreisler. He was a prolific composer, he wrote many songs in the style of another composer, and for 30 years he kept secret that they were actually written by him. Now this piece that you're going to hear is not one of those deceptions, in fact it is a very popular encore piece he wrote for one of the world's greatest violinists. And after Love's Joy, we head to southern Spain for a Carmen celebration which contains many of the beloved themes of Bizet's opera. It tells the story, of course, of a fiery Romani woman named Carmen who works in a factory and embarks on a doomed romance with a military officer named Don Jose. Spoiler alert, like many operas, it does not have a happy ending. But it is full of some memorable melodies which you're about to hear.
was a French composer and one of the most influential in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Many consider him the first French Impressionist composer. His Petite Suite was written between 1886 and 1889 and is one of the most popular and frequently performed of his works. He composed it just after completing studies at the Paris Conservatory. Well, the first movement, En Bateau, or In a Boat, paints a picture of a couple in a boat on a moonlit night gliding across the water, which is depicted by the, the rippling 16th notes, mostly in the, the lower range on the piano. The second movement, Ballet, is a very lighthearted, percussive movement with a short waltz section, you'll hear it at center. What really catapulted this piece to fame was a later transcription for chamber orchestra, which is still performed frequently today. So please enjoy these two movements now from Petite Suite. Hello, Caleb. Oh, there you are. If I may be permitted, just a few quick announcements. <clears throat> Children. Students, uh, you need to thank your teacher, not now, not after the concert, but your next lesson. Do something to let them know that you appreciate the hard work that they've done with you because they've done a beautiful job preparing you for this wonderful concert. Don't you think, parents? They've been working on these pieces since September, October, November, sometimes very hard, sometimes not at all. <laughs> but they've, they've risen to the occasion. It would be a shame if these pieces are not repeated, but if they've uh, gathered dust and forgotten. If you go to church, if you have a, a worship place, or if you have a community, uh, please invite your children, your students, to play for those people. They will hate it but it's really great training. One performance is equal to at least five weeks of practice. You learn so much when your brain is working at double time speed and that. And the last thing I wanted to share with you is uh, I talk to a lot of people and they find out I'm a pianist and music musician and they always say this one thing. I um, never met an adult that said they thank their parents for letting them quit. So there's going to come a time, say no. <laughs> On with the show.
And so, friends, another Keyboard Fest is in the books. You are invited, of course, to stay as long as you wish. Uh, take pictures, you can come up on stage and get a closer look at these beautiful instruments. Representatives from the Steinway Piano Gallery will be available to answer your questions, talk with you, and if you'd like, uh, schedule an appointment, but you can come back tomorrow if you might have more time then. But thank you so much for coming and supporting these pianists, these musicians, and students. Remember the golden rule, practice, practice, practice. Good night, everybody.